Hmm. So you ever wonder how you see these amazing pictures posted on Instagram, posted online, and they're very busy tourist places, but there's no one there, right? How do people capture those photos? Today, I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so welcome back and let's take those magical photos that you all captured and let's figure out how we can get these people and these objects out of there so your picture looks just as amazing as the photographers that post online and you wonder, how do they do it? Do they get up at five in the morning and go take pictures? Actually, they do. Some of them actually do that and I, I've done that myself where you wake up super early, you get there before the crowd gets there and you snap some good photos. But there's a way around it. So let's go ahead and jump into Adobe Photoshop and let's figure out how we can remove people and objects out of our photos. All right guys, so we are here in Adobe Photoshop CC 2019 and I've got this picture that I took last year in the summer and um, I've already got the completed product or completed photo on my Instagram so you guys can go check that out. I'll, I'll go ahead and display my Instagram tag now. But for the sake of time, we're just gonna go ahead and remove a few items and I'm gonna give you a quick overview of how this tool works so you can go ahead and incorporate it into your workflow and your projects. So the first thing I always like to do once I have a photo up is just right click on it and go to duplicate layer. And once you duplicate layer, it'll give you a copy of it basically on top there. The next thing that I like to do is just quickly scan the photo to see what areas I wanna be able to remove. So we've got a seagull here in the sky. Otherwise the sky looks pretty decent. We've got a boat or something here in the water, a boat here, we've got these floating things, we've got these buckets and we've got some people in the water that we wanna be able to move. What you can do is you can go ahead and click on the lasso tool or hit L on your keyboard. So once you've got the lasso tool selected, you click and hold and you go around the item that you wanna remove. And once you let go, it'll give you the marching ants. And go ahead and hold down shift and hold down delete. And it's gonna go ahead and give you this fill. You wanna leave it on content aware, nothing if you change in here, you leave the opacity at 100% and just go ahead and hit okay. And voila, that thing is gone. So basically just do the same thing around all the items you wanna remove or people you wanna remove and do the same thing. So we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of this as well. Again, click and drag, go around and shift and delete. Now, this is one way to do it. The second way to do it and before I get into it, what I wanna show you guys is how this tool actually works. So when you select an item or an area that you wanna be able to remove, what it's gonna do is it's gonna scan around that particular item to see how we can replace that image that you wanna replace. So this time with just the, the, the lasso tool and if hitting shift and delete is working perfectly fine, there will be times where if you go to do that, maybe you'll get something else in the picture because around it, there isn't enough data for Photoshop to know how to properly get rid of that photo. So for example, right there, I just selected that the person that was in the water did shift and delete and all of a sudden it looks really weird. We've got, it duplicated this person and it duplicated this wooden part here into the picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Command and Z, bring her back. We'll leave this as the selected area. The second way to do it is go ahead and click on edit, come down to content aware fill. And what this will do is it'll split our screen. It'll show you a preview of the photo here and because my monitor is kind of small, I'm gonna have to scroll over and you'll see a green portion that it's selected, highlighted. What this basically means again is it's looking to replace this person, this selected area, based on what's highlighted in green. So because we've gotten the wooden, with the wooden part in the green and we've got the lake in the green, it can not really differentiate between the two and figure out how to replace this part. So all you gotta do is you gotta make sure that this is um, set to minus, which means taking out, and we're just gonna click and drag and go over any part that there is wood. So we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of some of this area. And we're gonna get rid of this person that's currently showing up. We'll wait for it to load up. Yep, looks like it's picking from this person that's in the lake. We'll get rid of that, so we'll unhighlight it. And let's see if that makes a difference here. 
looking a little bit better, but obviously we've still got this wood part, which looks like it's coming from here. So let's go ahead and remove this as well. And the bucket, so we don't want the buckets showing up. <clears throat> Wait for the preview, and look at that, that's gone. So it looks fairly decent. It looks like it's still pulling some sand because we can see a little bit of dots here in the sand. So we can definitely go ahead and basically clean out any area that we don't want it pulling from. So we'll just quickly go ahead and do that. And yeah, let's see how that looks. <clears throat> okay, still somewhat decent, a little bit less now. So what you can do is, again, for the sake of time, I'm not going to get into more of it, but you can get rid of some of this stuff. If you don't have a big enough area where it's pulling from, what you can do is you can go ahead and click on the positive, the plus sign, and you can actually paint in where you want it to select from. So that way it's got a bigger region to pick from and it'll be, it'll, it'll be able to duplicate based on that information. So that's the second way you can do it. So we'll just wait for it to load up and we're just going to go ahead. Okay. And just like that, that person is gone. Now, once you've already edited an area, you can still go back and re-edit it. So if you want to get rid of some of the dots, if, it, if they didn't go away in the initial edit, you can still do shift and delete and do that. And look at that, just like that. So you can do the same thing with any other items that are in the picture. So let's get rid of this bird that's flying around. Shift delete. And booyah, that bird is gone. So that's pretty much it, guys. So as a quick recap, again, you can do highlight it or select the area, do a shift and delete to get rid of it. Or so some of the more complex areas that you want to try to get rid of, you can start and go highlight it and go into your content aware fill from your edit menu. So that's it. Plain and simple, quick and easy, painless. So let's go ahead and jump out of Adobe Photoshop. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. You can now go out and take people out of photos and take objects out of photos and be creative and do your thing. Until then, give me a big thumbs up for this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you next time. Goodbye. Let's try that again. Goodbye. Can I cover my hole? Yes, I can. All right, goodbye. No, it didn't work. Goodbye. I want it to be completely dark. Goodbye. Let's try this. I will see you next time. Goodbye.